Ah, hello folks. Welcome to another Figma review, but this time we've got one in its still in its box. And this is Edelgard. It is Edelgard from Hiju, how you pronounce her name. She is from she's from, from Fire Emblem 16. The three houses. I recommend this if you're a Fire Emblem fan. And also she's available on Fire Emblem Heroes, which is a mobile game. I forgot to mention that for Corrin, which I'll mention. Uh, it's a good game. I'll just show you quickly inside. Show you the inside quickly. There we are. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now that's enough of that. It's another one I bought off. It's another one I bought online. Another one from Japan. This was the latest one from last year. So there's a photo of Halo Guard. I presume that's her her big axe. That's her with her normal axe. Her figure number is 461. I bought it last year, but I haven't had the time. I haven't had the time to actually get her accessories out. <laughs> I hear Grievous is laughing at me in the background. You should have done that. Though. Oh, shut up, Grievous. Right. Further ado. Further ado, let it, let's get her out of the box. And let me just plug my computer in, just in case it goes. So now, this is this is now her in her box. Right, we're taking her out. Yeah, I'm not destroying these boxes, but apparently I won't be destroying this box. Here's the inside of the box. Of course, I already had a mess around with Ava God. If you want to check my Devian art, which I might put a link in the description. So then we open the outer casing. I do apologise because of the fans. Now open the outer casing, and this is what you get. You get her standard axe, which you get. Some normally some fever figures you get one or two, and this is her relic weapon, which. Which has articulation to f to fit it. You got to pull that little peg off to fit it. So there's her two of her weapons. The paperwork as usual. You want, as usual, just like with Corin. This side Japan. Okay, okay. This side Japanese. This side English. <laughs> Oh god, every female figure comes with a, their own stand with licensing info underneath. And be careful, be careful with the knockoffs. There are very clever knockoffs. There's Edelgard's set of hands. And of course, underneath, which I recently taken, which I might take it out now, Edelgard's bag for her accessories. Edelgard's bag and accessories. I'm sorry, I had it sellotaped around the bottom. So I wasn't going to use it. It looks like it's brand new. It looks like it's brand new because it hasn't been used yet. Yep, it's still sealed. Hasn't been used yet. Hasn't been used yet. And... Let me just... Oh, I forgot to mention. Her, her, her different face. Her different face. Only for calm back to check my. I'll put the link in the description for my art page. For my art page, for her. Let me just remove this. Oops. Put this. Put this in upside down. <laughs> Whoops. Put it inside up. Upside down. <laughs> Ooh, if you're good to me, I'll put this in the background. If you're good, I'll put this in the background. If you're good, I'll put this in the background for the video. Just for the purpose of the video. Oh God's sake! Messages can wait. Right. Right. She can stand on her own perfectly. Sometimes she can, sometimes she can't. So that depends. There we are. There we are. Edelgar can stand on her own. Let's just put her accessories. I'm not going to faff around of changing the hands. You know, you probably know what to do. You just pull the hand off. You pick what hand you want to pick, take off, and you're going to make sure you take off the existing hand. When the figure came, it had two fist hands, so I changed one for the weapon. I think the other one is for the big weapon. And that's what the big whole hand is for. So there's her, there's her fingers. Um, 
as I say, her bag is still sealed. Her stand is available. Yes, as I say, you want me, as I say, oh god. The camera's not up there, it's down here. Dirt brain. <laughs> Dirt brain. Getting old. There you are. That's the information about the paperwork you want. That's what that's what it contains. And that's how to attach, and that's how to attach. There we go. There's Edelgard. I'll probably oh, we'll show you how to change the face. I'll, I'll probably show you how to change the face. Probably how she, if she keeps falling over, I'll put her on her stand. So first, we'll change her face. See, as I say, her hair's built in, so now, you pull that off, she's the easiest one to pull off. There we are. And now she's going to attack. Now she, there we are, there's her in her new face. She's now going to attack you now. But I prefer, the, sometimes I really do, I really do prefer the default faces sometimes. Have her to hold her weapon. You shove, you shove her little axe. You shove her axe in her hand. Of course, you've got to move the arm up so you can have her holding her axe. In the game, she uses, she uses, she's an axe class in the game. She's an axe user in the game. She's an axe user in the game. Unless you rather want to see her hold her a relic. Let's do that because let's do that because for the rest of her, she's going to hold her standard. Well, it is a bit big, so. Pull the bottom off. I think you're going to need the big hands to be fitted in this. I probably won't show it in this video. You can see it in artwork. You just pull the. You just pull. You just. I don't want to fuss around changing the hands. Because I've always got to change hands on Edelgard. So there's her weapon. Articulation. She's got an over 90 degree elbow. Longer, bigger, longer than the lightning figures. She's got waist, waist articulation, just like Corrin. She's got head, art head articulation, and she's got hair articulation. She's got a cape part, I should say, her cape articulation. No, I won't be putting the accessories back in the bag, because I don't have enough room to set Edelgard up. I said I'll do it to Lucina, so I was going to do it to Lucina when I get round to doing Lucina's review. Mm, let me just position Edelgard. God, seven minutes already. Let's position her. Go. Let's give her a comparison, shall we? I would get Corrin down, but I won't. Let's compare her with the Supreme Dalek. Supreme Dalek. Journey's end and stolen enough. I think my battery's flashing at me. Dalek Khan. Classic, super, classic Dalek. Paradigm Drone Dalek. <laughs> A Cyberman. Mm. These are the these are the character figures, by the way. Now, if you give me two minutes, I need to change the battery because I need to change the battery again. I'll see you in two seconds. Back again. <sighs> Back again, had to change the battery. But luckily, my new system of batteries is coming into play. If one battery is dead, we put it on charge. If one's ready to go, we put it on charge. Enough of the battery jabber fall. Here's Edelgard. I think this is the first time they've met. This is the first time they've met. Oh, bollocks. You did not just heard that from my mouth. <laughs> Edelgard, it is a pleasure to meet you, Edelgard. Edelgard and General Grievous. Who, if you're a true Star Wars fan, if you're a true Fireman fan, which one would win between a duel? A duel? between Edelgard or General Grievous. I forgot, I forgot to mention we're going into the Black Series figures. General Grievous is one of them. I'll put an in card in for General Grievous. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Oh God. Darth Vader with Edelgard. 
So, you are the addressed emperor. You are the addressed emperor. Vader, Emperor Ad Adelgard and her axe. Adel Adel it's Adelgard and Vader. Adelgard and Vader. God, she's got really thin legs. Just reminds me of another figure I know. Just another figure I know who has the same. Sakura, but she but she stands better. There's Darth Vader and Adelgard. I'll put an ink on Vader. And my final comparison is Mighty Morphin Green, which they did duel, which they did fight in one of my little, in my one of my artwork gallery as the evil Green Ranger. And she and she took on the White Ranger. There's something I want to do with Edelgard. <laughs> this won't probably won't take long to do. And it involves the Stormtroopers. So, she's the addressed Emperor. There we are. I've always wanted to do it. There you go. There you go. We say pretend Lord Vader is dead in another world. And then Edelgard took over the Empire. And that looks quite cool. That looks quite cool. If you like female figures, if you're a fan of female figures, if you like them, get one. Oh god, General Grievous is coming to steal the party. I'll quickly do I'll quickly old I'll quickly do something with General Grievous and Edelgard. I wonder uh, um, yes I do say I'll do something with Edelgard quickly with General Grievous and I'll take a picture of it. Um as if you like if you like the black series figures, get them. <laughs> I do recommend them. If you can never be too old, you can never be too old to collect action figures. Never. I would murder someone if they said that's me. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please put a like. And next time, I may do Lucina if you're all good to me. If you're all good on my channel, subscription, see? And that, if you're all good, I will do Lucina. The final FEMA figure for the Fire Emblem series. And I'll go do some more research on the rest. I'll see you in another video. Ta ta!